This is Twit. So the idea of SLI and Crossfire are, are very easy to describe. Add GPUs to your system, improve gaming performance, graphics performance. Uh, the, the problem is, is in implementation, it's never as easy as the words I just stated make it sound, right? So uh, going from one GPU to two GPUs implies a lot of work in terms of dividing up workloads, uh, compiling that work back together at some point on a different piece of hardware or on one of those two pieces of hardware, uh, making sure that those workloads are balanced between processors, uh, making sure that there's no data discrepancies between the processors. There's a whole lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, and then when you add three or four cards into that mix, like if you're doing three or four different GPUs all trying to work together on the same game or rendered scene or whatever it happens to be, you're adding more complication to that mix. Um, with that brief introduction, we bring you to the story uh, where I tested the new GeForce GTX 980, which is uh, NVIDIA's latest flagship graphics card based on Maxwell, the new GM204 GPU. We've talked about it on the show a couple of times. Um, a very impressive GPU in its own right, very power efficient, very high performance in general, uh, and uh, apparently sold out everywhere now, interestingly enough. So hopefully NVIDIA is making more of them to actually sell to people. Uh, and in that initial review, we looked at two-way SLI with GTX 980, and it actually seemed to scale pretty well. Uh, but as, it's, as so happens, every once in a while, other cards happen to filter through the office. So for a specific portion of time, we actually had access to three and four of the GTX 980 reference cards. And I think it makes sense, Josh, that when you have access to that much hardware, you just throw it all together and see what happens, right? Yes, you abuse it while you can and then yes. send it back broken. Hey, you know, once it's out of my hands, it's not my problem. It's probably FedEx. Yeah. Probably, probably FedEx. Um, <clears throat> so I will say that setting up... So in order to do four-way SLI or even three-way SLI for that matter, you have to have specific hardware configurations. You know, you need to check to make sure that kind of stuff works. Motherboard layout is very important for four-way SLI. Uh, PCI Express layout is what's important for three-way SLI. Can your motherboard even support more than two cards in SLI? Uh, Software-wise, though, if you have the hardware put together, it's actually pretty easy. Like, the difference between enabling four-way SLI and two-way SLI is there is actually no change. You go into the control panel, you say, I want to uh, select maximum 3D performance, and it goes, okay, great. Now we're using all four GPUs in your system. It's really just that simple. Now, uh, at the bottom of that first page, something worth pointing out because it will determine how you, you know, if you go look at this review, if you see all the percentage numbers, how all this relates, right? So um, as you add GPUs, the scaling rate should increase in a standard pattern, right? Ideally, if you get 15 frames per second with one card, you want 30 with two, 45 with three, and 60 for four. Um, but what that means percentage-wise is in that graph that uh, we're showing right now, at, with two cards, you could possibly, at the most, ideally scale at 100%. You would double your performance, right? You go from 15 to 30 frames per second or whatever it is. Uh, when you add a third card, though, the maximum performance gain you can have over the two-card configuration is 50%. So that's your theoretical maximum there. And then by adding the fourth card, uh, based on uh, patterns and math, uh, apparently that number is 33%. So the most you could get from that fourth card is another 33% in performance, uh, in overall performance, right? So keep that in mind as we go look through some of these results. So I want to start by talking about a good result. That makes sense, Josh. We want to talk about something positive. Um, give us a little bit. You know, it's just, of, it's, uh, it's like you're in a meeting and they're they're going over your performance. You know, it's, yeah. it's the carrot, the stick, <laughs> the carrot. <laughs> yeah. So let's look at Crisis Three. So because because Crisis Three is, uh, in my opinion, probably the most demanding game we use in our testing still, and it also happens to be one of the few games that actually scales really well across that entire band of SLI. So. If you look at the Crisis 3 page, even if you look at 25 by 14, we have 4K testing in this story as well. And what you'll see is as you scale up from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 GPUs, you actually get fairly uh, regular, you know, well-spaced performance improvements. It seems to be scaling 
very well as you add GPUs. Uh, if you go down and look at the FPS by percentile graph, you'll see that in kind of a different form. You'll see it. You go from about 29 frames per second to about 51 or 52 to about 78 to about 96 frames per second uh, on average, right? So you're again, this is a game that actually scales really well. And the same thing is seen at 4K, those same kind of of jumps, right? And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can actually get a bar graph that just kind of labels that out in its in its easiest to view form. So if you look at it there, um, at 4K, two-way SLI scales by 92%. That's pretty close to 100, wouldn't you say, Josh? Yes, 92% is closer to 100 than 50. Uh, it is, yes. Three-way scales by 39%. That's, that's pretty good. Com that's, again, the, the target maximum is 50% for three-way SLI. And then four-way is 29%. So you're actually getting very, very close to that 33% kind of maximum scaling rate that you would uh, have expected to get there. And the total scaling ratio from one card to four cards is 3.48x. Um, and I would consider that to be about as good as you're going to get with uh, multi-GPU scaling today. 